Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how to create stickers to personalize this cute little trash can from Lots of Style. And um, this one I'm using for my daughter's desk because she is, you know, virtual learning. And so they're doing lots of crafting and stuff. She's a kindergartner. So this is perfect for on the desk. I know that anytime that I let her own something, um, she loves it more. So other than putting the stickers on that says Colts, because that's her mascot and her name, because it's going to drive me insane if it's not straight, um, I created a bunch of stickers for her and let her design it. And she owns this thing. She owns her table and she keeps it nice and clean. So <laughs> um, let's talk about the fonts that I love. So uh, this is Happy Popcorn. It was free on font bundles. So it's still free now, so if you go there, I love this one. And I love Varsity as well. Varsity is a free font on Design Space. The reason why I love it is, well one, Varsity is just anything school related. I feel like this just right away reminds you of cheerleading, uh, any sports team, anything school related. Um, but Happy Popcorn I also like because you can change this font, you can go and unlock it and look, you can make it shorter, wider, longer. It can fit anywhere that you want to and it still looks good. So that's, I mean, that's something that I'm always looking at. So you can see like that fits up here. If you had a smaller space like I did with Colts, you can still make it work and it's not gonna be teeny tiny. You can make sure that it doesn't rip on you. It's easy to handle because that's all about um, crafting right we don't want to make it difficult for ourselves it's already difficult because we're doing it by ourselves <laughs> instead of just buying it um all right same thing with the stickers so stars and hearts i always just go into images to see if there's anything that i i can use so type in heart and you can just see i mean there's so many right but i like to see like any like um something like this only because it has an inside so it kind of gives you a different look and feel than just like a solid sticker so we can you know click on that one um let's see I feel like I had different oh I love this one because it has the cutout um and this one's almost the same but thinner right so you kind of want that variety so that it looks different but it's all the same theme right so let's insert them and I'll show you how to manipulate the, the images. All right, so this one is fine, unless you want the inside as well. Um, if you wanted the inside just to make it look different or a different color, you can easily do this, duplicate it and go to contour and remove that, but keep that, okay? So if you wanted this, so that you have a two layer sticker and you wanted it a different color. You could do something like that. I personally don't like the inside, so I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> Here's this one. The other key is once you know your size, you can see you don't want them all the same size, right? So like if this one is 1.3, duplicate it, make it a little bit bigger, um, duplicate it. I, I like, tend to do things in threes, make it a little bit smaller. So now you have your set. Okay. Same thing with this one. Um, wow. This one's four layers, two of which you can't see. So that's kind of funny. Um, if you want the two layers, you can keep it. These two won't cut the gray and the black. If you want to change the color, just click on it and go change, you know, to a different vinyl that you're going to use. Um, this one's such a wonky looking heart. I'm just going to delete it. I don't really like it. Okay. And then the same thing with the stars. Like I would just go into images. Um, sometimes they come in clusters. So for instance, I know this one did, um, like this one, right? Then you don't have to recreate the three sizes. It already comes like that. Or this one. Um, I think I use this one. Let's go to insert. And then you just want to make sure that the sizing is accurate. Um, you know, if, let's ungroup it. If this is too big, you want to just measure where you want the stars. So she only did it in the top area. I don't know why, but she loves this trash can. And you can see she's filled. Um, so 
you just want to do it in different colors, different sizes. I would do that normally just for anything for kids. This is what they, you know, they just want to own a little bit of their piece of personalizing. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. I am also doing something very similar to, um, to personalize buckets to give to her classmates because every day they already know the worksheets that they need to do so the parents get them ready because they can't really read that well. <laughs> and so we put it every, I put it in a folder, but you know, then I need to get her paint and her pencils and all that stuff. So everything goes in a bucket. This is everything that you need for the school day. I think that would be great. Um, for them to decorate and again own have some accountability and own that all right so i hope this was helpful for you guys see you next time let me know what you want to see comments or questions just post them bye